Hey guys, it's Winnie and today I have an accessory haul for you. I actually just recently got my package from Bobble Bar in the mail and I haven't looked at anything inside of here yet because everything's really nicely packed up in these little black pouches. So I thought it might be fun to do like an unboxing video with you guys and just open these up on camera and show you what I got. I also have a couple of things from Forever 21 that I'll show you afterwards because I'm just really excited to open these up. But if you guys have been following me for a while now, you probably know that I love accessories I have a pretty substantial collection so bobble bar is like my weakness because they carry all kinds of things I can't remember exactly what I picked out now but I know I got some layering pieces and some statement jewelry because I love statement necklaces and I've definitely given and received gifts from friends from bobble bar so I know that they have a lot of cool stuff and I'm just going to reach in here and grab one of these and open these up to see what it is and I will try to put the name of everything on the screen so you guys can find it easily I love these little black pouches because when I'm traveling these are really handy so you don't like lose your accessories and whatnot so this is the Narnia ear crawler and everything is in a ziploc bag inside the black pouch and then it's also bubble wrap so it's super nicely packaged and safe and let me take these out these are really really pretty and I will zoom you in so you can see all of these little details it's in a beautiful silver color I think these would be great for like a night out or even something dressier I do have a couple weddings coming soon so I might wear this and just pull my hair back because these would look absolutely beautiful on but these are just kind of different they're actually kind of light so I don't have to worry about them like being very heavy and wearing my earlobes down and then this is the solid Hamsa pendant is that how you say it I'm not really sure I actually really appreciate the bubble wrap on these because a lot of times when you're ordering stuff online especially accessories they can arrive like broken in pieces and I hate that so this is what it looks like I will zoom you guys in the Hamsa is right in the middle it is a solid gold and I'm just gonna take it off and put it on to see what it looks like and this one looks like there's a little extender on there so you can shorten it like two inches so I'm going to put it on the shortest hoop to see what it looks like on this is a challenge. You can do this. I feel like I'm just blindly putting this on because I'm, I literally can't see. Ugh. So this is the shorter length. You can also extend it out a little bit longer, but I kind of like where this hits. It's almost like right in the center of my collarbone. I think it's really pretty. It's the perfect layering piece. I love really dainty and like delicate pieces like this to layer because it doesn't look too overdone. And then the next one is the asymmetrical alpha pendant. And this one is another delicate gold layering necklace. And I really liked this one because it has a W on it. If any of you guys have a name starting with a W like me, you probably know how hard it is to find your initial in stores for like anything at all. They're either like really super limited or they just won't carry at all because it's so like rare or something. So I've never found anything with my first name initial on there. And I really wanted a necklace with a W on it. So that's why I picked this. This one I am going to put this one on too and this one looks like there is also another extender on it and I'm going to put it on the longest one I don't know if you guys can see it but this is on the longest length and it fits perfectly with the other necklace and I love that the W is kind of like slanted asymmetrically so it's kind of different and then I picked out another gold layering piece this one is called the chevron pendant in gold I forgot that I picked out so many gold necklaces but I do like gold for like dainty layering necklaces opposed to silver I don't really know why but I like silver like statement necklaces I totally forgot what this looked like but this one's really cute it has a tiny little chevron on the middle of it this one also has three little like extensions on there I'm gonna put this one in the center this one feels a little bit shorter even though it's on the middle hoop thing so it might be a little bit shorter than the rest of them but I still love the way these three look on they're just really simple and pretty and you don't have to think about it too much you can just layer it with a bunch of things or just wear them alone and I'll probably just end up wearing these all the time because I can wear them with whatever you can just throw it on with a t-shirt I think I just have two more left this one is kind of in like a medium size pouch and it's another gold piece. It's the crystal wand pendant, and I think I remember this one. I had a necklace from Forever 21 
that was kind of similar and that broke like right away so I was kind of sad about that and this one looks kind of similar to it which is why I wanted it yeah this one is a lot longer so the chain is like this long and the pendant is really pretty this one also has a longer like gold casing I'm not really sure what to call this but it holds the crystal and you can see the crystal at the end of it and it looks really really pretty and this one has some like substantial weight to it which I actually kind of like so this will layer perfectly with these other necklaces I'm not gonna put it on yet because there's this little tag on it this is the last piece that I have here this one I think is one of my favorites on the website and it's called the pearl Orwell bib and this is definitely a statement necklace so it's totally bubble wrapped and I'm going to have to unwrap this and make a lot of noise. <laughs> this is so pretty. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see all of the little details on this necklace because there are a ton of them. I've just been drawn to like silver statement pieces like this lately because it's a little bit more edgy and I feel like it's not so out there. It's not like super super blingy and girly and I think this gives it a really pretty like edgy touch to your outfit. So I might actually try to pair this with a dress that I'm wearing to the wedding that I mentioned. I think it's actually really, really pretty and the Narnia ear crawlers match perfectly with this necklace so it's like the perfect set. And on the Bobble Bar website, I think they were featuring Wendy's lookbook and she had on like a bunch of really beautiful like statement pieces just like this and they were all layered up and it looked amazing on her but she looks amazing in anything so after I saw that picture of her I was like I need this necklace so that was everything from Bobble Bar I have successfully made a huge mess but I love every single piece I love the layering pieces and that statement necklace is like everything and now I just have a couple of little things that I picked up from Forever 21 recently so I've been really into hats lately and that was never my thing I never liked hats I thought they looked stupid on me but the more I wear them the more I like them and I got another one from Forever 21. This is just a gray felt hat and it's a little bit different from my other hats because the brim is a lot wider on this one and the felt is also a little bit more sturdy so it's a little bit more of a structured wide brim hat and I like the little like detail of the faux braided leather trim on here and I like the cool gray color because I don't have this color yet and this one was around $17 and then I found this really cool layered chain belt from Forever 21. This kind of reminds me of like the 90s a little bit, but I really like the way that they styled it on the website. It's very like boho. So you just kind of attach it to your waist with this little lobster hook. I wonder if you can just wear it on your shoulders like what if I wore it like this? This is kind of cool. I just kind of like created something cool here. I really like this. It's like a giant shoulder necklace. I like this. I'm gonna keep it like this. This is the layered chain belt. Apparently it can be a necklace as well, but I got it for around like $10 from Forever 21. So I had a little faux septum ring that I got from Forever and you just kind of like slide on your septum and it looks like you have your septum pierced. And I thought that was really cool and I was playing around with it yesterday and I have lost it. I have no idea where it is. It's very tiny. It's silver so I don't know if I'll ever find it, but I will put a picture of it up because I did take a picture with it before I lost it. I just thought it would be fun to play around with doing different looks and stuff so that was fun while it lasted. So I guess last but not least would be these sunglasses and I have talked about a similar pair from H&M and they were like seven dollars or something. They were my cheapy throwaway sunglasses. I got them because I didn't want to worry about them like breaking or destroying them or whatever which is exactly what happened to them. One day I just found them in the back of my car like completely crumpled up in a ball. I don't even know how that happens but the only problem was I actually really liked them and I like the way they fit I like the way they look on me and I couldn't find another pair to replace the destroyed ones so I recently just came across these from forever 21 and I swear they are the same exact sunglasses the same size the same fit and everything the frame is black and the lenses are black and they're kind of reflective so these will be great for the summer I'm glad that I found another pair now that I'm thinking about it I should have just like stocked up and got a bunch of them because I think these were like also around seven dollars or so but that's everything that I have for this accessory haul slash unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you like unboxing videos because sometimes I want to like wait and like unbox it with you guys on camera. And it's kind of like opening a gift on camera. I don't know if that's weird. But let me know in the comments down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.